1st of October and we're fishing for some fresh coho, hopefully. Whatever bites. Whatever bites. We're trying to avoid pinks, though, at this point. Yeah, we're It's done. not fun. Don't want to catch them anymore. They're right. spent. Jerry's helped us, you know, realize they're dumpies. They're dumpies <laughs> and stinkers. Stinkers, dumpies. You Dumpsters. Don't, if you feel that tug, it's going to be a disappointment. But beyond that, we'll see and what besides, we can do. They get to a certain point, you don't want to pick on them anymore. No, no, yeah, you feel, <clears throat> you feel bad. I mean, when they're crumb, it's a different story, but... Mm -hmm. I think we're past the chrome point of the dump. It's gonna stink when you hook it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna... <laughs> You're gonna smell that dumpy when it bites your fly. I gotta try one of these SA tips on here. I'm gonna try a 12 footer on the uh, on the uh, 12 foot rod. Kind of what you like, like 12 to 15 foot tips mostly? Uh, yeah, it, 15 to 21 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Custom cut. <laughs> I like them. I like, especially, I'm into ratios, right? I want I want the sink tip to be at least or twice as long as my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ratio guy, right. a man of numbers. Doing rod selection right now. What are we fishing today? I'm going black and chartreuse, kind of salmon-y. First time I ever swung for salmon, I used something like this and it was super successful. So, going nostalgic. We've got the, the six, seven, eight, and nine weight renegades, all with various natural through bright through dark colored dirty hose for the most part got some sculpin patterns whole mess of stuff whole mess of junk all right nice little ledge these kind of big rocks here walking speed current with some great structure in there see if we can't find one Back. I don't like this tip. What was that one again? It's one of the 12 footers. Mm. Yeah, the tip's as long as the rod. Yeah. What are you going to try instead? A 10 footer. 10 foot, yeah. yeah. I'm going to try a new strategy today. It's uh, not fishing until 10 a.m. You know, really save my energy. When the rest of the guys are a couple hours in, that's when I come in fresh. Low and clear. October day. Yeah, dude. It's feeling nice. I love that it's like actually a little chilly out. What do you say that we get three bad bad months of weather a year? In Washington, Western Washington, we get three bad months of weather a year. June, July, August. <laughs> and then we're back to actually having some nice weather. I think the way we've got these rods set up, it's gonna be good for the day, yeah. This one's definitely like, the fly dives. Like you put it in the water, just, which would be good for some of the maybe deeper stuff. I'm gonna give it a little coho twitch. A little twitch for the John. Yeah. Twitching for Johns. Just for some context, we just pulled into a new spot and I grabbed the seven weight renegade. This one's got a pink and purple skinny hoe on it that Jerry tied. Just fishing down this kind of deeper seam here. You can see it's nice nervous water out there working down this. And Jerry pulled off to fish the bucket above and now me and Connor are fishing down this run and I'm on. It's not big, but we'll see what we got here. Nice bully. Bright pink. No way. That's a pretty one, dude. What's the hands of one, Bob? I mean, for this time of year. Nice. First right. of the day. Yeah, that's nice. At first I thought it was a bull trout because it, it like flashed inside and I saw like the white belly and like the white fins. Nice, it looked dude. like, and then I was like, oh. Yeah, down to But that was a, um, that, that was a respectable one. I also like how it wasn't too big where it like made it annoying. Exactly. Yeah. So it was just like a nice tug, pretty fish. I'll take that one. Hell yeah, man. One nothing. One, one nothing. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, it's not 10 a.m., folks. It's not 10 a.m., so I'm getting in here. Yeah, well, dude, we know this type of riffly water is always good, so. Did that thing mangle your... Well, it's a barbless hook, 
right? Yeah. And that was not easy to get out. Yeah, you don't need to fish a barbed hook. You know, barbless hook, they're rolling around with it. They set it. If they're hooked good, that's all you need. Well, this is looking fishy as all hell. Let's get in here. Yeah, let's, yeah. Do, let's do that. that kind of like white and natural dirty hoe on? Um, yep, white natural with a little pink. That's just tied with uh, seal fur and flash. It doesn't have any predator wrap in it. it doesn't, it, it's still a composite loop, but not like, <clears throat> not like I do them now. And the reason I did it is because I had seal fur at the tying table and I was tying sculpins and I was just like, I'm gonna tie a couple dirty hoes like this. <laughs> Because it's nice to revisit the things that inspired other things, you know? Heck yeah. So you're giving the seven way to try? Seven way to try. We got a commando on it. Proper one. Proper floating line. Not a, not a groove. Happy to say it feels good. I knew it would. It felt okay with the groove too. I mean, it casts fine. So you've had those waders for how long now? How are they treating you? Oh, I like them. They uh, treat me well. So far, what, is this month three? With them? Mm, something like that. That's the fish you want to swing to? Yeah. <laughs> what color do you think you would take? That's a good question. At that stage, you have to go natural. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Late. He's been in the river long enough, you're going to want to go like olive, something buggy. Maybe Small. a caddis. It's important you have no flash in that fly. <laughs> yeah, if he sees flash, he's not going to hit it. Let's see. I mean, yeah, he's not rotten. Oh. All right. There we go. Nice. Pretty good, Dumpy. Not rotten, but not what we're after. Ah, oh, might actually be a female. Look at her go, dude. Dump has been established. Nice, dude. Cool, dude. Crushing. Not bad. It was on the swing, too. Oh, yeah. No pulse, no nothing. That's still, fun, dude. Still chasing something a little different than that, but... I'm going to try stepping down below with the more natural pattern. See if we can't acquire a different species. Even if I fished through this whole head, I would still not have fished the tail out further enough. I could fish the whole next run. I still didn't fish it further enough. The flesh fly? Yeah, they, someone pulled the f tail off it. Whoa. What the f happened? But... <clears throat> it's crazy what a difference that made because I did not have a single take in there on the like copper summer steelheady leech. Yeah, they would destroy that thing. That's amazing. Wham! Jerry's fishing this one. We're kind of just waiting. And then we actually really like some of the water that's left for the day down below. These lower flows, it opens up a lot of water in the lower river that we're fishing on. So there's some stuff you wouldn't normally get to fish that's gonna be fun to fun to swing something around in. I'm gonna go ahead and say cut. We back in. We it's, it's midday, right? It's noon. Okay, not bad. We're actually doing great. 
Usually we're, it's 2.30 at this point. I'm glad we've kind of moved through because we know that at this flow, there's some good water below. One run we were counting on didn't swing at all. So we just pushed on past that. A lot of pinks. Drift waders on. Drift waders are feeling comfortable. I feel Maybe like I could, I feel like I could play with LeBron right now. Link, link for these waders is gonna be in the description. I actually went to a spot, guys were gear fishing, saw someone uh, in some drifts. So it's pretty cool they're, uh, they're getting recognized out, out there. It's great to support a local company. Oh yeah. Like, we don't need to see another guy in Reddington's. No. Or the Cabela's camos. And Jerry's like, he's foul hooked, man. I think you lost your points. All, all I saw was tail. All you know, in death, like, death what roll. Are you doing? <laughs> death roll like crazy, man. Dude, dime bright come yeah. Dude, Wish I would have got more of the fight on film, but yeah, you know, is what it is. Like, I'm looking like a dingus <laughs> in my life vest. I'm wearing this for heat protection. Yeah, for protection. You hook a fish like that. Outstanding. 